Despite the warnings, the Greek authorities did not react in time to secure the railway system. Following the accident that killed 57 people, the executive director of the European Union Railway Agency explained that they have sounded the alarm many times over the past years and even the latest report in 2022 revealed a gloomy picture. During the last years we have always seen that Greece has ranked amongst the bad pupils, so with a rather low performance in terms of safety. Safety measured in the number of fatal accidents in comparison to the length of the network and the number of passenger kilometers. We have also found an issue with the national investigation body because we have never received any report of an investigation. The EU Commission has spent 700 million euros on the modernization of the railway system in Greece since 2014 and has planned to dispose of another 130 million euros in the context of the Recovery and Resilience Fund. At the same time, Greece was supposed to have in place the European train control system since 2020 at the part of the network where the accident occurred. But this never happened. Well, it is certainly problematic that the money has not been spent as planned. And it is also problematic that the commissioning of the European rail traffic management system has been postponed now to 2023. The Greek government has launched an investigation while the 59-year-old station master of Larissa was arrested several hours after the accident and charged with negligent homicide. However, could this human error have been avoided if the automatic system was put in place as initially planned? We do not know what the real root cause of the accident has been, but such systems are there to reduce the risk of human error. And such systems dramatically reduce the risk of human error. So if the system is in place, the possibility for human error would have been drastically reduced. Josef Doppelbauer, along with other EU Commission experts, will visit Greece tomorrow in order to give Greece further support to modernize its railways and improve their safety.